Welcome to my home office. This video is a mini tour of my home office setup. I've made some updates throughout the years living in this home of mine because of a different work needs. It's been shifted and redesigned and today we're going to do a quick tour and share with you my home office setup. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, my name is Gigi and this is Styled by Glam. For this video, I'm really excited because it's been a minute. I've shared bits and pieces of my home office in my vlog, but I've never done an official little tour of it since I've changed out everything. When we first moved into this home, I was working out of the office from nine to five, five days a week. But as the years went on and unfortunately, but fortunately, thanks to the pandemic, I now work full time at home. And because of a working full time at home, I also stumbled upon creating content. This little space of mine needs to double as my home office as well as my filming area. So I set things up in a very particular way that way I can get the most use out of it. And I thought I would come up here and share with you guys since a lot of us work from home and a lot of us use it for multiple things. And before moving on, I do have to do a quick plug. If this is your first time watching, my name is Gigi. I share lifestyle and vlog content here on my channel. I also have TikTok and Instagram where I share daily updates, beauty tips, as well as fashion outfits. If you enjoy these kind of content, I hope you'll join me on my channel as well as Check me out over at my other platforms and if you do, don't be shy and say hello. Now without further delay, let's get into the office space. Where I'm standing right now behind the camera is where the door is. My office space is actually not that big. I'm not exactly sure what the square footage is, but honestly, I don't have that big of a space and I have to be really smart about how I divide up my areas. That way I can utilize it for filming as well as storage as well as a full-on home office and also it needs to double as a guest room because sometimes we do have people staying over and I don't want my guests to be sleeping on the sofa neither. My room basically needs to cover all those bases. My husband actually got the bigger room but he also uses it for filming as well and other things in his office and hate to say it, he's definitely more on the messier side so I don't really expect his room to be a guest room to begin with and that's also why we opted for my office to be the guest room. <laughs> the first thing you see when stepping into the office is this kind of wall art display right here. These pieces I purchased off Desenio. If you guys are looking for wall art, it's one of my favorite, favorite sites to shop from. They have a wide range of variety of prints to fit any kind of aesthetic. I know I was going to use this as one of my filming backgrounds and I wanted to keep the colors as neutral as possible so that when styling clothes in front of it or filming in front of it, it will fit any kind of aesthetic and it won't pop out too much, but also add a little bit of a visual for the background. And going back to Desenio, they're a great website because because not only they have a good variety of prints, each print come in all sizes. So you can mix and match easily with no limitations. And the other thing I love about them is you can actually have it shipped with the frame. So these frames here is actually from Desenio. It makes it so much easier because most of the time, once you get the print, you have to go get it framed or you have to buy very generic frames from like Target, which is usually just black. I was looking for more neutral frames like these wood ones I have right here. Nice sleek looking frame. They already provide it at a very, very affordable price. And that's why I love Desenio. And next to the wall art is my hanging rack. This rack serves multiple purposes. Not only I film it 
especially if I'm doing fashion content, but it also helps me stay organized. A lot of times I use it as a rack to kind of lay out my weekly outfits. I don't know if you guys saw the Beckham documentary. He was showing his office and he had a clothing rack in there and he did exactly that too, which made me laugh because I thought, like I wouldn't say I thought I was the only one, but it's kind of funny to see that he does it too. This rack in particular, I got it off of a Wayfair, very, very budget friendly. The quality is better than the standard clothing racks that you kind of see off of Amazon. I didn't want anything too flimsy or just like plain silver. I kind of wanted it to blend into the room and this rack really serves the purpose. It also has wheels on the bottom, making it very easy to move from room to room. So if I need it in front of my closet when I'm packing, that's exactly where I roll it over and then I can roll it back. With the rack shifted, now you can see the main bookcase, bookshelf that I have in the office. I definitely styled it more on the aesthetic end because I wanted it to be a option for a background when I'm filming or use it as a prop and setup when I'm shooting pictures of products and all that. This one in particular is from Pottery Barn. This, I think, other than the sofa that's in here is the second most expensive piece of furniture in this room and it's well worth every penny i do have to say i love this shelf it's so simple and sleek but it serves exactly the purpose that i need it it looks exactly how i want it to look and i can see this being used down the road even after i move and just be easily placed into a different space and still look really good when styling this bookshelf i kind of focused on a color scheme and i love my books so i do have books on here but in order for it to look a certain way i actually reached out to an etsy seller who does custom book covers and she helped me put together these custom it's very simple very minimal and it's just cream and white book covers i am a huge harry potter fan and down here i have my harry potter set this book cover itself though is another brand's custom Harry Potter covers and the brand is called Juniper Books. I have to say my obsession with custom book covers kind of stemmed from them and then that's how I kind of extended it into my other books as well. Juniper Books also does other custom book covers but it does cost more and that's why I opted for the Etsy option. Sometimes you need to like pick and choose your battles for the Harry Potter set. I definitely wanted something very custom and official and this set here was like perfect in terms of the aesthetics and what it looked like and yeah i just love it now moving over to my desk the desk is brand new i actually just recently purchased this desk and the reason i purchased this desk is because it is a standing desk it's actually very very decently priced it's around 300 something i think with tax and shipping and all that it's like 400 and for the quality of it i was very decently surprised although i do have to say it is fully just in pieces it's not assembled so if you do consider purchasing this desk fair warning you would have to spend at least three to four hours assembling this make sure you have your electric tools ready and charged which i didn't so i wasted a few more hours just waiting for it to charge if you can have somebody else assemble for you great unfortunately on my end i am the handyman of the house so i had to assemble everything i'm very happy with it though so it was worth every minute every hour that i spent on it other than the standing desk i do have this little setup going on right now i have a mechanical keyboard because i definitely suckered into that mechanical sound again that aesthetic sound while typing and along with it i have the little cloud armrest with a leather pad to kind of for a more aesthetic and just comfort level i think another thing that i made sure to add 
was a rise for my monitor after researching a bunch of different options initially i was looking at a full acrylic one that was clear but i noticed a lot of people were saying that it did not hold up for the mac screen i have the older version of the mac which the screen is the larger screen too so the weight of it is quite a lot and this one i have holds it up so and i think it can hold more if you're looking for a good sturdy monitor stand i highly highly recommend this one and also very aesthetically pleasing that's the one thing i always make sure that it actually matches my decor and it won't look like just because it's functional doesn't mean you have to give up the aesthetics and last but not least is this section of the room and it has a sofa which doubles as a guest bed first and foremost uh, this lamp i added a lamp in here for more aesthetic and also just visual especially if i'm filming like this it's nice to have a little bit of a background light if needed or whatnot this lamp itself was a purchase from Crate and barrel i want to say it's maybe third on the list for the pricing wise in terms of how much I spent on the furniture. The sofa is probably number one, bookshelves number two, and the lamp is number three. However, all three of these items I can foresee myself using into other spaces down the road if I move, and that's why I thought it was worth investing in these pieces. For the sofa itself, I made the purchase through Interior Defined. They are a made to order website, so you can choose and customize the sofa to your needs. The reason I chose them is because the sofa bed does use a memory foam and it's not just like a regular like those usual pull-out sofa mattresses because I want to ensure that whoever's staying at my home even if they are gonna be sleeping on the sofa bed it is still comfortable and last but not least this is a little new addition that I got it's actually a little LED light I thought setting up in the background would be great for filming as well. I'm still kind of debating. It's a newer piece added to the room, but I do like it. It does add a additional light source for the room, especially at night. And when I'm doing zoom, it's a great background light as well, since my computer is like right there, just kind of makes it an easy visual for zoom and also a backlighting as well. Now the final, final section of this room, as you can see, we kind of make a 360 and now we're back at the door right next to the door is my closet and this closet in particular I've done a closet tour really really long time ago when I first started this channel but since a lot of you are new to the channel I'm just gonna quickly share with you guys as well this closet in particular is my shoe closet I removed gutted out everything and had the container store come in to change it into a full-on shoe closet because between my husband and I, we are a bit of a shoe fanatic and we need that space. As you can see from head to bottom, top to bottom, not head to bottom, it's all just shoes. I did share the top three racks with him. Technically, those are mine, but I was generous enough to share that with him because he actually has more shoes than me at this point, I feel like. His shoes are chunkier at least. And then all the bottom here, all the way through, those are mine. And I am so grateful for this because I think one of the biggest things during our renting days, the shoe solution. Most apartment or any rented space, I feel like they never put in good shoe solution. And that's the quick tour of my work from home office. The space isn't very big, but I was able to utilize it the best I can. And now it serves a multiple purpose in terms of working from home, office wise, guest room, and also for filming purposes. I hope you found this video helpful if you are setting up your home office as well. If there's any items I forgot to list below, feel free to comment and I'll make sure to share it with you. If you're watching up till now and you haven't already, I would really Really, really appreciate it. if you can give this video a like it will help me out a lot thank you again for joining i will see you guys on the next video